Come on. Let's give another big hand to our awesome host who's been following us to change our life and change the lives of others. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne to honor you, to magnify you, and to glorify you, for this is the day that you've made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We come now asking you, Father, that you would forgive us for all of our transgressions and all of our iniquities. And we thank you now for this opportunity, God, that you have allowed us to be here with the founder of this awesome organization, Aretha Olivares, Lord, so that we can learn what we need to do to advance your kingdom. We thank you, oh God, that all of us have ideas and businesses and things of that nature that you have given us, but now you're giving us the opportunity to learn more about keeping our businesses and being able to empower us to take our businesses to another level. So we thank you for the nonprofit conference. We thank you that you woke us up this morning. We thank you that you put clothes on our back. We thank you, God, that you're going to make us prosperous in every way. Keep us running for you. Keep us doing all that we can do. And we ask you right now, Lord, that you will anoint every speaker that comes for you today, that they will do the work that you have called them to do. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus, we say amen, amen, amen and amen. Oh, come on, give God some praises up in the house. Now, I don't know about you, but you know, it's Saturday morning. We've been going to those jobs, some of us, or those businesses, and we need to get fired up. I'm going to take a two-minute motivation. I want y'all to stand up. Come on, y'all. And I, and I want y'all to get ready for this awesome conference. I'm fired up. I'm so fired up. I'm motivated. Now, when I wake up in the morning, no matter what I'm going through, no matter how it's been, you know, some of us have cried maybe before we got here this morning, had an argument, something has happened. You're either going to have a problem coming out. But we want your total focus today on the state of the nonprofit. We don't want anything in the way. So I usually wake up in the morning, I say, I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great. So we're going to move with it, we're going to move with it and move with it. So let's try it. Y'all ready? Come on. I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great. Come on. I'm alive, I'm awake, and I feel great. Give yourself a big hand, all right? Then number two, I want you to say, I feel good, I feel fine, I feel this way all the time. And I like to say, I feel good, I feel fine, I'm going to kick that devil behind. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. I feel good, I feel fine, I feel this way. I like you do. Come on. I feel good, I feel fine. I feel this way all the time. Come on, give yourselves a big hand. And as I get ready to take my seat, uh, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I give him honor that he's allowed me. Uh, Miss Aretha Olivares uh, was the person who set us up uh, for our church as a nonprofit. Without her, we wouldn't even have our 501c3. So those of you that are here today to hear her, she's absolutely incredible. But you know, I, I, this is my anniversary week of surviving breast cancer. They gave me a three month death sentence that I did in three months. Well, it's been 11 years, but I'm still here. So when you go through things in life, generally your setback is a setup for a comeback. <laughs> and before, you know, I went through my breast cancer, I had a successful business, this and that, lost a whole bunch of stuff. But after breast cancer, God gave me a book. He gave me opportunity to speak to 50,000 people, gave me a TV show with millions of people, a radio show. So God will give you more after something goes on in your life. So there's seven principles that I'm going to take my seat. They're called a P factor. And I'll be speaking at one of her conferences on that. But there's seven ingredients to that. And I'm just going to tell you, number one, be positive. And in this conference today, be positive that you're going to leave with something in this conference today. Be passionate and know that as you know your life or whatever your business is or whatever your church is or whatever you're doing, it needs to be like Jeremiah, like fire, shut up in your bones. Amen. Be persistent, keep running the race because it's not over until you win, as my friend Les Brown says. Be patient and know we've been man doing for a night, but your joy is coming in the morning. So clap if you believe your joy is coming in the morning. And as Ms. Aretha said, be prayerful. So I took the time because when you get prayer, you get power. And then you become powerful. I tell my friends, you'll be faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive. And you'll leap your enemy in a single bound. Last, you will be prosperous. And all of us are here today to learn to be prosperous. Now, prosperous is not just about money. 
but it's about empowering us so we can be happy and joy. Won't you be happy when your nonprofit is running just like you want it to run? I mean, you got somebody like Aretha Olivares that had the chance to travel all over the country and the world and even work with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Y'all need to give her a big hand for that. We need to push her up. Then all to the White House up there, all in Obama business. Y'all come on, man. Give it up for Aretha Olivares. So just remember, all of those things that you will experience the thrill of victory rather than the agony of defeat. And as I tell all my friends, I'll see you at the TLP because that's where we're all going to be at the state of nonprofit. Come on, give yourselves a big hand.